It is a very difficult question in the sense that you can hypothetically debate the merits of each system. Uh, you have to assess the lay of the land realistically in real time to see where the nation is. The merits of either institution can be debated, which is why I've never wasted my time with the form of the regime, but rather than its content. What it is that I say to an Iranian Republican or in a, an Iranian monarchist today, I find it very strange that after 35 years, we have not thought what will happen the day after the referendum. In other words, let's say that we have a transitional period where a constituent assembly is formed, the debate over the constitution, the form of regime as various models proposed to the nation is offered, ultimately Iranians will ponder upon it and eventually define in their majority which one of the system they prefer at the end. The day after that, regardless of the result, what do we do next? Isn't democracy about various political parties competing in the formation of a government to implement a particular socioeconomic policy? I find many Iranians that are split on the form of regime who happen to have the same persuasion on a political party platform. For instance, they might be social democrats or liberal democrats, but one may be a monarchist, the other one a republican. And when I ask them, what is more important to you? The issue of whether you have a monarchy or a republic or whether you are socialist or a conservative, for instance. And come to think of it, the most important part that needs our society never was able to reach that stage in terms of absolute openness of political climate and the existence of actual political parties is the most important tool without which we cannot exercise democracy in the first place. So rather than to think of what divides us, let's think of what unites us. So in that sense, it is irrelevant to me at the end which system will prevail so long as there is in fact a secular democratic system in place, which is the most important thing. But most importantly, beyond just a structure, there is in fact such institutions at play and civil society is strengthened. So if you ask me what would I vote for, it's not truly the system that I'm worried about. It's the existence or lack thereof of the political institution that are the main actors in a democracy and a democratic exercise, which is more my focus now rather than whether it will be a monarchy or a republic.